I grew up in Lafayette, went to school at IU, and then moved out to Colorado. That's where we met online. Um, quickly, uh, after realizing that I had fallen in love with a chef, I knew I wanted to uh, be in this world with him. So uh, we opened two different restaurant concepts in Colorado uh, before moving here to Indiana uh, to be closer to our family. If you wanted to spend any time with somebody in this career, in this industry, then you kind of got to immerse yourself in it or um, probably won't work out. <laughs> So uh, Rachel's uh, social skills, personality, and all of that fit in very well to the restaurant industry. been overwhelmed with the great support we have in the community, um, not only from um, our patrons, we've created great relationships with regular customers. I think uh, it's been uh, overwhelming how much support we've received from our um, patrons, from our vendors. Uh, it's really great. And uh, the great thing is the small business owners support uh, small business owners around here. And any chance we have to support a local farmer um, or somebody doing something like that and uh, going through the same struggles that we know and understand, then we're going to be right on board with that. I think people are really excited about our cocktail program. Um, we have a, uh, a craft cocktail program where we're making every syrup, we're um, juicing fresh citrus every day, um, and so the uh, creativity and um, kind of uniqueness of our cocktail program has drawn people here. I've uh, traveled all over the world and get a inspiration from every place I go and I would say there's no specific specialty. Uh, we uh, get excited and uh, try to experiment with new cuisines um, whenever we can and um, I would say it's always changing what mm -hmm. uh, our specialty is and what we're really known for. Thank you to WRTV photographer John Christians and to Rachel and Samir for hosting us at 9th Street Bistro. While we were there, they looped us in on their future plans to expand into a second concept. They're going to create a ramen shop. They say they know many people may be familiar with ramen only as a noodle cup college snack, but they're hoping to use innovation to make it even more popular. One of the uh, most playful, fun things uh, that we hope to show is that ramen can kind of um, embody other cuisines as well. So Chef came up with a uh, carbonara ramen um, on our last uh, pop-up where he made a Parmesan broth. Um, our house-cured pancetta went into that and a sunny side up egg. So maybe if you're not familiar with ramen but you've had Italian carbonara, uh, you could uh, see where those worlds collide and, and meet us in the middle. The Mohammeds say they want to open this ramen shop sometime in the first half of 2024. So stay tuned. You can find more details about 9th Street Beast including our full article right now at WRTV.com.